In 70 years, we've grown from a tiny baby to an adult, from child to parent to grandparent. The aging process began several decades ago. Now, we're in the grip of old age. It's the final chapter in the journey of life. When we retire from work, we gain a slower lifestyle and our bodies slow down. The outward signs of aging are only the beginning. Aging dramatically affects our skeletons. Any of us could be at risk for osteoporosis. Our bone cells are still hard at work, destroying old bone and replacing it with new. But old age upsets this balance. Osteoclasts destroy the bone faster than osteoblasts can rebuild it. What remains is a hollowed out cluster of brittle bone fibers. Our bones slowly crumble as the years slide by. Broken bones become a very real danger. It can happen to men and women alike. But the process is faster in women because of the hormonal changes of menopause. The aging process is one of the great mysteries of life. Why does our appearance change so much between the ages of 40 and 70? It's more than wear and tear. It's a process affecting every cell in our bodies. Every day, cells clone themselves into billions to battle wear and tear on our organs. The DNA inside each cell gets copied. The old cells die off, and the new ones take their place. But the copying system isn't perfect. Any imperfections in our DNA are also duplicated. Over a lifetime, we make so many copies of ourselves that even the tiniest defects accumulate. It's like using a photocopier. Copies made from copies degrade in quality. We have totally replaced the bone in our face every 10 years since we were born. Our 70-year-old face is a seventh generation copy of our baby face. The imperfections are exaggerated with each copy. Another reason for aging could be the air that we breathe. We need oxygen to live, but throughout our lives, it slowly poisons us.
Inside each of our cells, our mitochondria are like tiny power plants, combining food with oxygen. They create the energy we need, but just like a power plant, they also generate pollution. In this case, the pollutant is oxygen. The mitochondria change the molecules into unstable forms called free radicals. Over a lifetime, free radicals slowly suffocate the mitochondria and damage our cells. Our cells and DNA become more and more damaged. Repair systems fail. Imperfections accumulate. Eventually, our organs fail. Even with a healthy lifestyle and the best medicine, death is unavoidable. Our DNA makes us what we are and guides our development, but it also determines how long we live. Every time one of our cells copies itself, it loses a tiny piece from the end of the DNA. After billions of cell divisions, the end section is gone. Our cells can't divide anymore. Death, like life, is a biological process. Scientists believe that near the moment of death, our bloodstream is flooded with endorphins, the body's natural painkillers. Now, starved of oxygen, tissues can't function. Within 10 seconds, the brain's electrical activity drops. Hearing is the last sense to go. It can take 24 hours for our skin cells to stop dividing. There's a saying that life goes on. For some of us, it could go on for some time. Thanks to modern medicine, children born in the U.S. today can expect to live to celebrate their 77th birthday and beyond. Even when we're gone, we live on through our loved ones. Our children and their children carry our genes in every cell. They carry memories of us too, the moments they've shared from our extraordinary story. All journeys must come to an end. But what a journey it's been.